how is your property portfolio faring in the current challenging economic conditions? I'm going to say surprisingly well, because um, sentiment to property investment is, is so down at the moment. I think people would be surprised to know that it's faring well. Um, and if we look you know, o- over the year to date, valuations are down or net asset value is down in uh, custodial property income rate by four and a half percent. But, you know, that's being driven by investor sentiment, because if we look at the, you know, the nuts and bolts of, of real estate, the, our rent roll is up 2.2 percent and our estimated rental value is up 2.9 percent over the same period. Now, those numbers shouldn't be going in opposite directions. They should be aligned. So I think there's a big disconnect. Uh, and I think people are um, still negative to real estate because they got their fingers burnt in 2022. 2023, um, it's not without its challenges. No market ever is. But but the, um, you know, the, the, the vibe on the ground is that uh, occupiers are taking space, rents are growing, vacancy rates are falling. All of these things should be good for property investment. Uh, and indeed, they are good for property investment. We just need uh, sentiment to fall into line. Well, that actually sounds really encouraging. Bjorn, is that your experience at the moment? It is. I'm, I'm glad to say we sort of, um, you know, agree with uh, with Richard. I mean, the economic outlook is challenging. Um, inflation is proving stubborn. Uh, higher interest rates, you, you know, are, are likely to have a sort of further impact on on the economy. But, um, you know, we're really proud of our portfolio that was been individually curated um, to be highly resist, resilient um, through uncertain economic conditions, especially these. You know, we have modern, well-located buildings uh, led to uh, financially robust occupiers that can continue to pay the rent against their mission-critical buildings where they've taken long leases. And, and, and ultimately, this, this underpins um, uh, the income receipt and therefore the um, distributions that we can uh, provide our shareholders. You know, there is that resilient demand. Uh, there has been an uptick in, in um, availability, but it's still um, modest against uh, long-term um, metrics. And it's this um, moderated supply against this strong occupational demand because of all of the structural drivers um, for occupiers um, wanting modern fit for purpose uh, logistics properties where they can operate efficiently out of.